it's different when you take it on as a full-time deal. I thought we'd probably gone as far as we could go. Um, you know, Judy was here, and so out of respect to her, I didn't change anything in the office. And, and there were things that I didn't want to implement because why would you change something if someone else is going to come in and, and be doing it? So there were some things we didn't do, and uh, we'd kind of got to the point where we're going to need to do something to put some kind of permanence to, to some of the moves that we needed to make or wanted to make. You, there is a lot of reactionary things that you do, but there's certainly a lot of planning things. We do a lot of policy and procedures, as an example, or uh, people's situations. Um, I'm not a micromanager at all, and that will change the personality of an office based on who's there. So I've been very flattered that a lot of the cabinet members come in to visit, and not for me to tell them what to do, but rather for them to express situation they're dealing with and, and what do you think. So that's a pretty flattering deal. And we do a lot of that. Uh, so that makes it pretty diverse with the, their things. And then there are those things that come up on a daily basis that come up with the, for the chief or for us that we that we deal with. And of course then we have uh, IT and human resources facilities, GSA and fleet that are directly uh, respond to this office. So. There's a pretty diversified, extremely diversified, as a matter of fact. You know, that's one thing. The, I felt like when we got here, it was well organized. Um, to be candid, if there were things that I, I told the people, even when I was here on a temporary basis, easy for you to say, basis, uh, even on a temporary basis, um, the thing I saw throughout the tribe when I got into this position was a more siloing, um, isolationism, rather than, rather than um, one of the first things we did was try to change our communication system where everyone can have the same information. There's no reason why if social services doesn't have it, why real, realty can't have it, or why uh, tax commission can't have it, rather than having to dig everything up every time. So we worked on that. So I guess communication and cooperation between the groups, and yet I found that rules and regulations actually get in the way of doing a lot of that. If someone has, they only paid with federal funds, well, they can't do some of these things. They can't be involved in some of those things. So uh, I found uh, some blockages that I didn't realize were there at the time, but we're still improving on that, I think. Yeah. But yes, there is a vacancy there. Uh, the ladies at the tax commission are extremely adept at handling the, handling the situation. And that's part of the cooperation I was talking about. Just because I've moved out of the tax commission doesn't mean they can't pick up the phone and call and say, hey, Jerry, here's the situation we're facing. What do you think? And uh, they're running it. I'm not making decisions, but uh, I'll do the same with them because I value their advice regardless of what we're in. And I do that just this morning. I've had, I've been to Fleet. I've been to Human Resources. I've been in the Chief's Office. I've been in the Second Chief's Office saying, okay, here's what we're doing. Tell me how y'all read this, because um, trying to isolate yourself and make a decision just based on what you know is, uh, I can mul multiply my intelligence quite a little bit by asking other folks. So that's, that's going to be the same there. Yeah. So you're not, you're not getting the tax commissioner salary and the trial. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I just wanted as, to clear that up. <laughs> as, as a matter of fact, uh, they made fun of me because I, I had the tax commissioner salary, which was not, you know, and I did that. I did both jobs for a year. Yeah. And uh, no, I, I, that's something you don't ask, or I didn't ask about it, and I feel comfortable ever asking about that, yeah. You would assume that maybe taking this position would be just like a slam dunk decision, and it really wasn't a slam dunk decision for me. I really enjoyed the tax commission, and I enjoyed it because of the people we had in the tax commission, uh, the ladies there were very adept and we had adjusted uh, who we were to what we wanted to be, which was very service oriented and making the people welcome. Uh, I think we learned that pretty well. I think they do that pretty well. So I was very proud of them and enjoyed, I enjoyed going to work because they were there and they made it enjoyable and our atmosphere was very relaxed and um, 
you know, we, we covered each other and did things for each other, and so it was a good teamwork situation. You know, it's like I tell folks so many times, everything now is only conjecture. Even though they've, they've passed the deal, the rules haven't been established. Uh, there were some people got together and there were, there were 62 pages of rules that came out that we had access to on Sunday. Some of that's very, very interesting. Because we've changed state law doesn't mean federal law has changed. And just while I go, I was telling you about how we try to cooperate more among ourselves here at the tribe. Uh, we can't there's things that we can't do because of federal law or that the state can't do because of federal law. And part of that is like banking. You, you, can't, you can't run the money from the marijuana, medicinal marijuana, through a federal bank. Uh, I, are you aware of that? Yeah. So there are some things there that look into. Uh, you, you mentioned the farming. I think to look into it is wise. To make the decision about it is a long ways off from making any kind of decision about it.